Hi all folks, this is Max from RootGalaxyNote.com So today I'm going to walk you through how to um, install a an ICS custom ROM um, so you don't end up in a boot loop uh, or brick your phone. The safest way to do that, um, you don't need to use any chain fire repack, um, just use a BIS kernel. Uh, basically go ahead and download, I'll have links below um, in my blog post, link to the blog post and you'll see it. Uh, this note kernel blah blah dot zip download that file copy it to your SD card or internal storage and also the ROM you want to install the ICS ROM for for um, for this I'm actually installing rocket ROM ICS but it can be any ICS ROM um, this is the safest way alright so to do this I'm on actually on gingerbread ROM uh, what you want to do is um, hold down volume up center button and the power button and go into Clockwork Mod Recovery. And uh, you have to have your phone rooted, of course, and also um, Clockwork Mod Recovery installed. And please don't try this on a AT&T Galaxy Note. That's the other one. This is the GTN 7000. Um, so once you're here, um, you're simply going to flash the, uh, the Abyss kernel and uh, reboot into recovery. Uh, let me see if I can make this thing a little bit doing it sideways because that way the light see the menus better so go down to uh, install zip from SD card install zip from SD card or internal SD card depending on where I where you copied it to I put it in my SD card and I put it in my download directory so that's the file I'm talking about the abyss kernel blah blah dot zip this will install the abyss um, kernel on your phone which comes with its own recovery which is what we want and it's it works well for installing uh, ICS ROMs. Um, this is the way to do it. I had a video back um, a couple months back, but uh, since uh, now everybody knows that it's this is the way to do it, so I'll make another video about it. Um, so next, what you want to do is install the actual ROM. Um, oh, sorry, no. You want to go back and actually go to Advanced and uh, Reboot Recovery. Now, if you don't have Clockwork My Recovery, you can do the same thing. The menus might be uh, slightly different, but it doesn't matter. Just flash this abyss and then reboot into recovery. Or you can even just turn off your phone and reboot into recovery. But I'll just do that since that way I don't have to hold down the buttons again. And it should give you a new um, recovery thingy here. So that's what we want. All right. And there we go. So we have this recovery, clock for my recovery, 5.8.1.5. Um, even if you if you have this already, try using this abyss kernel um, because even if the version's the same, the actual internals of the clock for my recovery might be different. Um, so let's go ahead and install this. I'm going to do a regular wipe um, and then install the ROM. And that installs it from SD card. Um, choose it from SD card or internal SD card. I got it there. And I'm going to go to my download folder. And there's my Rocket ROM there. And say yes. And I'll be back when this is done. Now, if you're already on ICS, you can just go ahead and install. Um, but if you have any problems, you can always follow this method to install any ICS ROM. Uh, if you end up in a boot loop, um, you should still be able to get into uh, Clockwork Mod Recovery and uh, install it. And also, if you lose, some, for some reason, some ICS leaks ROMs, um, they don't come with a recovery. Um, then what you can do is Odin, Odin the, um, um, the, the kernel. There's a, a tar file you can find also. And there's a way to extract the Z image from the same zip file and just flash that in Odin also. So that's done and I'm gonna go back and reboot system now and that should have done it. Um, so go ahead and use Abyss kernel for installing ICS ROMs and you shouldn't have any trouble installing any ICS ROMs or all that bricking um, stuff. You know. So I've got the nice boot animation. Um, this is supposed to be the rocket ROM and I'll have a review of this, but that was how to install ICS um, ROM on your Galaxy Note. 
Um, usually you might be able to just install it, but uh, I know sometimes some of you guys have trouble. Um, but this is the sure method, um, fail proof method. And you can do this even if you're still in, stuck in boot loops, as long as you can get into clockwork model recovery. Um, so there, we figured it out. And uh, almost done here. And I'm just waiting for a, the next ICS because this phone is super fast. Um, but I want to make it even faster. And uh, most of the ICS ROMs, they don't have um, overclocking yet. Uh, as soon as Samsung releases the official ROM, it will be there. But, God, they're taking it way too long. And I'm looking, really looking forward to the Galaxy Note 10.1, which is supposed to be... Um, the what is it this the next generation device even though the galaxy 2 tap 2 10.1 came out that one's kind of you know supposed targeted um for uh people who don't want to spend 500 bucks maybe 400 bucks but want to get the best um versus the galaxy note 10 .2, uh galaxy note 10.1 they actually pulled it um i think what they're going to do is actually change the specifications to be even better so I'm looking forward to it. I might have a higher resolution, um, maybe even better, way better processor. Um, that's gonna be like the Galaxy, the next Galaxy Tab for me. Uh, just kind of, I don't know if I'm gonna get the Galaxy Tab 2 10.1. <coughs> um, but there we go. We're not booting here, so this can happen. Um, just we're gonna give it another minute or so and see if it boots up. If it doesn't, we'll just uh, reboot. Mm -hmm. All right, I'll be I'll be back. I'm just gonna leave it there. I'm gonna go have. Oh, never mind. There you go. So there you go. That's how you install it. Um, ICS ROMs, any ICS ROMs. Make sure you use a biz kernel. Don't um, don't worry about the. This. Again, Clockwork Mod Recovery version number that has nothing to do with the actual Clockwork Mod Recovery that's in the kernel. So just use the BIS kernel, um, that way you can get ICS on there and you'll have no problems flashing uh, ICS ROMs. And you can do the same thing for gingerbread if you have any uh, problems with gingerbread. And same same thing. So, anyway, thanks you guys um, for watching my uh, video. If you have a Galaxy Note, don't forget to uh, sign up for my email list at uh, Galaxy. No, rootgalaxynote.com where I update you once or twice a week with ROM reviews, tips, had hacks like this. And um, it's a great way to communicate with me. Um, and I don't share your email with anyone else but my dog. And uh, if you're on YouTube, don't forget to hit that like button for me. Um, it helps me. And uh, subscribe button up here if you have. Thanks a lot. And share this with your friends on Twitter, Facebook, or Google+. Plus. There's a share button right there. Anyway, thanks you guys. Um, stay high on Android. I'm going to go make more videos. And don't be an iHeart.